Welcome to my channel and today is your Christmas edition so we will be creating this falling snow effect for your cargo website. Once I was asked to create this thing for my client's website so maybe you also find it kind of useful. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the original source of this code I found on CodePen, a user whose name is Adam Lucky. Thank you very much and yeah we will be working with this code but you also could just copy, the, find this code below this video and copy it so yeah. But you can watch the whole video in case you want to make some changes or understand how it works a little bit. Uh, anyway, let's start. Let's start with a new page. I've already placed this nice green image as a backdrop image. Uh, I used like wallpaper, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, you also uh, may have some code here. It also doesn't matter. You can place your new code below this um, your code or above this code. Also doesn't matter. So um, yeah, let's go here and start with HTML part. You need to copy only the first line and paste it here. The next part is CSS. Uh, also, you need to copy only these three lines, starting from the line number seven, everything about this canvas thing. And, but you cannot paste your styles uh, directly here, so you need to open tag style first and close it. Yeah, and inside this tag, you need to place your CSS. I recommend you to add a hashtag here, so it will be just a little bit better. Uh, okay, and uh, the last part is JavaScript. So you need to copy the whole thing. Yeah, and also you cannot paste it uh, here directly. You need to open tag script. Script and close it. Script. Okay, it's ready and paste everything you've just copied here. Uh, now it's done and let's check how it looks now. Yeah, uh, now we see the result, but let me uh, recommend you to make some changes. First of all, I recommend you to change this CSS part a little bit, so to prevent some issues. Uh, first thing is position. Position fixed. Let's make it fixed so you will be able to use this effect for uh, long pages, like uh, pages with scrolling. Uh, top zero pixels and left zero pixels. Okay, now it's done. Uh, also, let's define its size. Um, it's 100% uh, viewport width, like that, and height. 100% viewport height. Okay, it's ready. Uh, next thing I recommend you to add is pointer events. Pointer events none. Uh, what it does, uh, it actually helps you Mm, well, in case you have other uh, clickable elements, so the, your canvas won't be clickable and it won't be overlapping these elements. Yeah, and the last thing here is that index. So you can use, uh, you can make it purposely super large. That's how you can place this canvas above uh, any other elements. Okay, now it's done and let's check. Yeah, everything looks the same now. Uh, also, uh, you can control uh, the look of your snow. Uh, first of all, you can find this variable uh, var mp equals 14. And if you add, change these numbers so some, for something larger, your snow will be more intensive. Uh, let me show how it looks. Yeah, now you have more snow pieces. And also you can control its speed. The last line, uh, 33, uh, you can say something like 50 and let's check how it looks now. So yeah, now it's much slower and also you can change it to something, let's say five and yeah, it will be super fast. So thank you for watching and follow my channel to get new tutorials about Cargo Collective. Goodbye.